Looking at Mark chapter 14, verses 22 through 25, it says this, While they were eating, Jesus took some bread, and after a blessing, he broke it and gave it to them and said, Take it, this is my body. <clears throat> and when he had taken a cup and given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is being poured out for many. Truly I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine again until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of heaven. Within the scripture that was just read from Mark, we see that a powerful and symbolic tool was left by Jesus to help us remember what he did for each and every one of us. The bread symbolizing Jesus' body, how his body was broken down through torture and abuse, the flogging, shredding the flesh off his back, his skin being torn on his head as that crown of thorns drove deep into his scalp, his hands and feet that had been ripped open by the nails that were hammered into them to have him hang on that cross, and the cup symbolizing Jesus' blood that had been poured out in all of those acts of torture and pain that Jesus went through. What's great and important with all of this, especially right now, church, is that we know that the story of Jesus, the story of Jesus and for us, it didn't end on that cross. After Jesus' crucifixion and his death, Jesus, the Son of God, he conquered death, and he ascended into heaven. Death was and it is conquered. A new covenant was established through Jesus, and we are able to be a part of that new covenant because of his actions. That's why when we partake in communion, we do it in remembrance of Jesus and that ultimate sacrifice that he made on our behalf. It's one thing to sacrifice oneself for those that already love you in the present, like with John and Mary having loved Jesus. It's a special kind of love, a godly love, where one sacrifices themselves for those that would hate and try to rid the world of everything you were about. Such was the case with Saul. But Jesus sees that everyone has the potential to turn to God and live a life for him. And then that the Holy Spirit can then work in them and being an instrument in God's movement. Such was the case with Saul, who is now better known as Paul. And like with Paul, it is by God's grace that we can have salvation. So that we can have that eternal life with God in heaven one day. And that is because of that great sacrifice that was made for people like Paul thousands of years ago, that was made for people like us today, and that was made for possible future generations who turn their life over to God. It is truly an amazing gift that we have been given, church. So at this time, let us go to God in prayer and give thanks for the bread. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you at this time to thank you for that great gift that you gave us, the sacrifice that was made on our behalf. I pray at this time that we partake this bread in a worthy manner, that we remember the body of Jesus that was broken and beaten leading up to and on that cross, Lord. I pray that we remember that as we partake in this bread, as it was done on our behalf. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Let us now go to God in prayer for the cup. Heavenly Father, come to you in prayer at this time again to thank you for that great gift that was given to us, Lord. That salvation that was made for us, Lord, it was given to us. There's nothing we can do to earn it. It is by your grace that we have that salvation. And I'm so, so very grateful for it, Lord. I'm so grateful that Jesus conquered death, Lord. I'm so grateful that Jesus allowed us to have that true relationship with you, Lord, that we can be with you in eternity in heaven one day, Lord. I pray at this time that as we partake of this cup, we do so in a worthy manner. We remember that blood that was shed leading up to and on that cross, Lord, on our behalf. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. We have an opportunity to give back for the many blessings that we have been given by God. There's various ministries and mission works that we do within this congregation. We have collection trays at the back of the auditorium if you feel so inclined to contribute. And speaking of mission works, we have our Kids for Kids program that we've been doing for several years now and have bought hundreds of, of baby goats for widows in India. After the prayer, Chip will come up here with uh, a basket and that stuffed goat and adults children anyone can come and give to that ministry all the funds as of right now that are gathered through that ministry are used to buy baby goats for widows in india it's it's a very life-sustaining property for them so at this time let's go to god in prayer for our blessings heavenly father we come to you again in prayer lord thanking you for the many, many blessings that you give us, Lord. So many blessings that you give us, even amidst struggles and, and, and heartbreak, Lord. There are so many blessings that you give us. And you mold us through the various things we go through as well as the blessings that you give us, Lord, as, as you mold us. And you build us up, you build our spirit, and I'm, I'm thankful, Lord. And I pray at this time, through this congregation, through our different mission works, through our different ministries, Lord, that whatever, whatever funds, whatever contributions are collected through this church, as well as the time that people have and, and the manpower that we have, Lord, that we use that time, that, that money, and that manpower in the best way to glorify your name, Lord, through the different mission works and ministries that we have, Lord. I pray all this in your name. Amen.